previously on the dragon ship. Right. So we all know that women have kind of a dualistic nature to their, to their uh, mating game, so to speak, to their sexual strategy. We understand hypergamy. Do men as well have that in some regards, but not so much hypergamy, but they're willing to spread the seed, right? But when they want to lock down a mate, body count matters to men. Body count shit does matter for really only one reason. You want to know that the paternity, okay? Yeah, I disagree in some respects. I've, I've lived a long time, all right? And I would say probably in the 60s and 70s, yeah, body count was worry. The worry was paternity. But in, in the 70s and early 80s, when AIDS come out, body count became a, a, a point of survival. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And that, that's what you were looking at. Is she sleeping with a lot of guys? Am I going to get AIDS? Am I going to get some disease that's going to kill me? All right. That's why body count is more important today to most of these guys. They just can't. They just don't actualize the reality of it. But I think when it comes down to it, you're not going to wipe up a girl that you know that has a a huge body count, even if even if you guys already banged it out. You know, because you, you, do do you don't know what their body count is anymore, Glenn. And that's what I'm saying. I, I think guess. what it really comes down to is that you need to watch the way she moves. Yeah. Watch how she interacts with people. Watch how she presents herself. Okay. If she presents herself very, you know, promiscuous, very flirty, um, if, you know, and you're with her and she's like, you know, barely cho- showing off all the goodies, right? Well, she's advertising. She's advertising. So, and if you're in a relationship with a girl that's constantly advertising, come on. She, she's using her sexuality to try to, you know, gain attention. What you're saying, Glenn, is basically when you get the sweatpants and the basic bitch dress at home, but when she's headed out, it's that shit's on fucking fleek. That's yes. what, is that what you're talking about? Okay. That's, I just wanted, exactly I wanted you to clarify that. About. If you're with a girl and you've got experience with women, you can tell. You're not going to know the number, but I can tell. I've been with virgins. I've been with girls that had one or two men, and I've been with girls that had a lot of men. There's a different way they act and they hold themselves. They present themselves. I mean, I'm not saying I can't be fooled, but in general, I can tell if a woman's been with a lot of men or whether she hasn't been with very many. Yeah, but what's, what's a lot? What's a lot? Uh, to me, 10, 15, 20 men, I think, is a lot. If she's in her early 20s. I mean, that's pretty common nowadays to find one less than that is uncommon. But to me, that's a lot because I grew up in the same time. You girls have got more bodies than that these days. Yeah, I know. But so by that math, if she's in her (laughs) seventies and has 20, she's golden, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, But that, 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 that hot girl summer, that, that hot girl summer, you know, where they, they, it's one a week for July and double down in August. I mean, that Uh, you see that a couple of summers, boy, before they go back to college. And it's like, man, that, that sucker's been whittled down to nothing. Yeah, I think but women define sex saying. differently than men, right? They they definitely define it. The certain things don't count, right? Or is what well, you heard the term eating in and cheating, right? <laughs> oh man, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, don't, I don't think it's I don't think it matters. I don't think it's as calculated as as you know um it gets presented. I don't no, know. I agree. I, yeah, I, me too. I don't think it's that like that. But it makes for good talk. Talk. I, I think- Make sure you get your own copy of Thor's Dominant Masculine Presence Lecture. This is an hour-long lecture that teaches extremely valuable yet simple techniques that will help you to improve your dominant masculine presence. You will learn how easy it is to begin building the foundation for your masculine presence and make yourself into a dominant masculine man who knows what he wants and isn't afraid to go after it. So what are you waiting for? Buy now and start your journey and start building that dominant masculine presence and become the man that you always wanted to be.